In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to write code to concatenate string properties before displaying them as output. Like the previous tutorial, I'm first going to show you what the program must do. So for now, you can just watch what I'm doing. I will tell you when you must also mimic what I'm doing. I already typed the code for this tutorial. But I will remove it later and then you can type your code when I tell you. Here, I display the contact form in runtime. When the user opens the application, this is what he or she will see. Note that the rich editor doesn't contain any lines of text. Ok, now I'm going to fill these fields with information and make some changes on the default values. Now let's look at some of the values I've typed. I entered values for all my edits. I also changed the gender from male to female. In this tutorial, we are only going to look at the values in the edits and the gender combo box. The values in the other components are for a later tutorial. Now, I am going to click on the display button. The display button still changes the form's caption from contact form to displaying contact information. The rich edits color also changed from white to yellow. Now, this is the new output for the rich edit. We must program the on-click event of the display button to read the values from the first name and surname edits and to display those inputs in a sentence like this. Then there must be a blank line. On the next line our code must read the selected text in the gender combo box and display it like this. After that our code must read the address fields like street, city, country and postal code and display it like this in one line. Under that, we must add the line that reads the telephone number from this edit and show it like this. And finally, our code must read the email address and display it in the rich edit like this. All the values from the edits and the combo box that we want to process are text values. In other words, strings. Like I said, we will work with the other types of values later. Now, you must also open your contact information project in Delphi. And you must type exactly what I'm typing. My application is back in design time and my project is the same as yours. To display all those fields like I demonstrated, we must program the on-click event of the display button. So, double click the display button. Delphi takes you to this event handler called btn display click that we programmed in unit 8.5. We still want the rich edit to change color to yellow, so we leave this statement. We also don't want to remove this statement. The forms caption must still change to the phrase displaying contact information. But let's delete this line of code. We don't need it anymore. Highlight the whole line and press the delete key on your keyboard. Now let's first see what we must do next. The first line in the rich edit must read the text in the first name edit and the surname edit. If the text is my first name and surname, the line must display Information for Gerard Visaghi. If it is your first name and surname, it must display yours. Here, where you deleted the previous statement type red output dot lines dot add. Between the brackets type two inverted commas. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type information for. You must type this phrase in uppercase characters. Between the closing inverted comma and the closing bracket, type a space and a plus. We use a plus with a text or a string value when we want to join another string to it. We call that string concatenation. In this case, we want to read the value in the first name edit and concatenate it with the rest of the phrase. So type a space and type the name of the first name edit. It is edt first name. We also want to read the text in the surname edit and concatenate it with this line. Type a space, type plus and type edt surname. Then move your cursor to the back of the line and type a semicolon to end the instruction. Now, before we run the application, let me first warn you. Delphi is going to complain about this code. I will explain why, but let's first run the project and see what the error is. Click the run button. This is what I'm talking about. Delphi reports an error. Click the OK button. The line that causes the error is highlighted in red. 
And here in the messages pane, we see the description, incompatible types, string and t-edit. That means that Delphi doesn't accept the concatenation of a t-edit in a string. But why not? Isn't an edit a string? No, an edit is an object. However, the text typed into an edit is a string. With this code, we try to take the whole edit object and join it with the rest of the phrase. We can't do that. We can't concatenate an edit into a string. We must concatenate the edit's text. Place your cursor after edit first name and type a dot. Type text. This statement concatenates the text in the edit to the rest of the phrase now. Let's do the same for the surname edit. Place your cursor after edit surname and type dot text. Now, I want to warn you again. The author will not complain about this. But the output will not be exactly what we expect. It will look a little funny. Let's run the application and see what we get. Type your name in the first name edit. Type your surname. And click the display button. The line is added to the rich edit. But there are no spaces before and after your first name. Let's go and fix that. Click the close button. Put your cursor between the R and the inverted comma here and press the spacebar. A space between inverted commas is also a character. This will now separate your first name with the rest of the phrase. Now, place your cursor after this concatenation operator. Type a space, followed by an inverted comma, followed by a space, followed by another inverted comma, and another plus. With this, you just concatenated the space character to separate your first name and your surname. Now let's test it. Run your application. Type your first name. Type your surname. And click the display button. Go and check the output now. This phrase reads, information for, and then the first name in EDT first name, and the surname in EDT surname. You can go ahead and type a different first name and surname into the edits. When you click the display button, these new values will display as part of the string. Later, I'll show you how you can also format your first name and surname to display in uppercase characters. Click the close button. Next, we want to add a blank line to the rich edit. On the next line, type redoutput.lines dot add. Between the brackets type two inverted commas and enter line with a semicolon. This line will add an empty string to the rich edit. Now we must add a line that reads the gender in the combo box and concatenate that value in a string. Type red output dot lines dot add. Type two inverted commas between the brackets Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type gender with a colon directly after the word and a space after the colon. After the closing inverted comma, type a space followed by a plus and another space and type cbxgender.text. After the closing bracket, type a semicolon. This statement reads the text in the combo box named cbxgender and concatenate it with the rest of the phrase and then adds the results to the lines of the rich edit. Now we must add a line that reads all the address edits and concatenate those texts into a string. Type redoutput.lines.add Type two inverted commas between the brackets. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type address with a colon directly after the word and a space after the colon. After the closing inverted comma, type a space, followed by a plus, and another space, and type edtstreet.text. Type another space, followed by a plus, followed by two inverted commas. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type a comma, followed by a space. This is the comma here. It separates the different fields in the address. After the closing inverted comma, type a space, a plus sign, another space, and then edtcity.text. 
Type another space, followed by a plus, followed by two inverted commas. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type a comma, followed by a space. It is this comma here. After the closing inverted comma, type a space, a plus sign, and then edt country.text. Type another space, followed by a plus, followed by two inverted commas. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type a comma, followed by a space. After the closing inverted comma, type a space, a plus sign, and then edt postal code dot text. And end your statement with a semicolon. This long statement concatenates the four address fields separated by commas to the rest of the string, and then adds the results to the lines of the rich edit. We only have two more statements to type. Now we must add a line that reads the telephone number in this edit and concatenate the value in a string. Type red output dot lines dot add. Type two inverted commas between the brackets. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type telephone with a colon directly after the word and a space after the colon. After the closing inverted comma, type a space, followed by a plus, and another space, and type edt telephone.text. After the closing bracket, type a semicolon. This statement reads the text in the edit named edt telephone, and concatenate it to the rest of the phrase, and then adds the results to the lines of the rich edit. Finally, we must add a line that reads the email address in this edit and concatenate this value in a string. Type red output dot lines dot add. Type two inverted commas between the brackets. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type email with a colon directly after the word and a space after the colon. After the closing inverted comma, type a space followed by a plus and another space, and type edt email dot text. After the closing bracket, type a semicolon. This statement reads the text in the edit named edt email, and concatenate it with the rest of the phrase, and then adds the results to the lines of the rich edit. Run the application. Now enter values in all your edits. When you are done, click the display button. Your output should look something like this. If yours do not look like mine, you must follow the steps again and check where you went wrong. Close the application. We will continue with this application in future tutorials. So click the save all button. In the next tutorial, you will learn about a few of Delphi's built-in functions. I'll talk to you again in the next video.